This is VOA News via remote. I'm Liz Pelka. U.S. President Joe Biden is urging opposition Republican senators to get out of the way when it comes to the nation's debt limit. President Biden made the comment Monday saying Democrats should be able to suspend the nation's debt limit. The president wants action to keep the U.S. government from coming dangerously close to a devastating credit default. His statement comes as Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell refuses to lend his party's help on the issue. McConnell is forcing Senate Democrats into a cumbersome process that could brush up against a deadline with little margin for error. But the Republican leader said Monday that the Democrats can deal with it. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has arrived in France. The Biden administration wants to smooth over hurt feelings and potentially more lasting damage caused by its exclusion of America's oldest ally from a new Indo-Pacific security initiative. The top diplomat is visiting France for an international economic conference. He's also set to meet with French officials to discuss the rupture in relations. The administration has been scrambling to mend fences with France and the European Union more broadly since the September 15th announcement of the Australia-US-UK agreement. The agreement canceled a multi-billion dollar Australian-France submarine deal. Facebook is back online. An outage left millions of people around the world unable to use its platform on Monday. That included its Instagram and WhatsApp platforms, which many use to connect with friends, family, and others. Facebook confirmed Monday evening it had reconnected to the global Internet. The outage began shortly before noon Eastern time. This is VOA News. China dispatched at least 56 fighter jets into Taiwan's air defense zone on Monday. The island territory made that statement and scrambled its own air force for the fourth straight day to ward off the intruding aircraft. Taiwan is self-governed, but China claims it as its own. It has objected to Beijing's overflights for more than a year. The news was met with sharp words Monday from the White House. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said, quote, we urge Beijing to to cease its military, diplomatic, and economic pressure and coercion against Taiwan, and we have an abiding interest in peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. She went on to say, our commitment to Taiwan is rock solid. The death toll from Cyclone Shaheen has risen to 13 on Monday. Authorities in Oman said they found the body of a man who disappeared when floodwaters swept him away from his vehicle. That comes a day after a child similarly similarly drowned and two foreigners from Asia died in a landslide. The country's National Committee for Emergency Management announced Monday afternoon seven additional deaths from the storm without elaborating. Suspected jihadis killed 14 soldiers on Monday in an attack in northern Burkina Faso. That's according to the defense ministry. It's the latest bloodshed to hit the region plagued by Islamist violence. The defense ministry said the military detachment of Yurgo was the target of the attack. 14 soldiers were killed during the fighting and seven were wounded Seven wounded, rather, were evacuated. New Zealand announced Monday that it would abandon its COVID-19 elimination strategy. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said this is a change in approach they were always going to make over time, adding our Delta outbreak has accelerated this transition. Vaccines will support it. The arrival of the highly contagious Delta variant made it difficult for the country to repeat its accomplishment last year of reducing the number of COVID-19 cases to zero. In New York City, a COVID-19 vaccination requirement took effect Monday for everyone who works in the city schools. Mayor Bill de Blasio said 95 percent of public school workers had received at least one vaccine dose as of Monday morning, in line with the vaccine mandate. School staff who do not show proof of vaccination are being placed on unpaid leave. The New York City School District is the largest in the United States. Via remote. I'm Liz Pelka, VOA News.